Hello and welcome to Versus, presented by The Rant Channel. Welcome. Today I'm going to be pitting two, um, how would you call them? <sighs> Archaeology, archaeog, arch, archaeological <laughs> games. <laughs> two, uh, uh, Explorers. Two two very popular games and uh, two very popular game characters who are explorers. And uh, that would be Uncharted 2 Among Thieves versus Tomb Raider, the, the reboot. Now I chose Uncharted 2 because that was my favorite out of the series and with Uncharted 4 coming up, I think once I play both Uncharted 4 and Rise of the Tomb Raider, I'll do a versus on those two as well. So we'll get it started with these two uh, older games. <clears throat> um, so Uncharted 2 has Nathan Drake, and Tomb Raider has Laura Croft, and they're kind of plays on the same character. You know, they both <laughs> beat the odds, they both sustain heavy damage and keep going, they both use gun work pretty much the same way. Um, and they both, uh, are very charismatic. One's male, one's female. That's pretty much the only difference between them. <clears throat> um, so, let's get started with category number one. And category number one is, of course, graphics, my least favorite. But it has to be done. Uncharted 2 Sports, uh, good graphics for the PS3 era. Um, and then you can also play it on the collection which came out uh, for the PlayStation 4 and you know they look about the same <sighs> and they're not bad but you know they're not the best I've ever seen and you know the the animation with the snow and stuff is nice um things with uh, you know dirt and and stuff it looks okay as for Tomb Raider the game does look very very good uh the uh you know the blood animations and the cutscenes and the environment looks really really great and um, I think overall in the graphics department, Tomb Raider definitely wins it for this one because, yes, it's a yeah, it was actually made during the same time as Uncharted's Reign, um, uh, but it, it just looked a lot better, miles better. And uh, next is category number two. Category number two is story, and this is pretty important for games like this because you need a good story to kind of latch on to and get you through the game. So, um, let's start with Uncharted 2 story. Uncharted 2 takes place of course after the first game um, and you start off as Nathan Drake in the um, oh crap, I'm totally drawing a blank here. Oh my gosh. What happened in Uncharted 2? <laughs> well, you start off... Uh, oh, okay, I remember now. Okay, sorry, brain fart. You start off with, as Nathan Drake inside of a train car, and you have to climb to the top of the train car while dodging debris and stuff like that. And it's a very cool opening, very nice opening. And then you flash back, of course, to the past, and you, you get betrayed, and <clears throat> you fight through all this crap, and there's a really great train level. Um, then you get to the, you know, the now, and... Um, you know, the game just keeps kind of progressing until you get to that big side twist uh, near the end, and <clears throat> it's, a, it's a nice game to play. You know, the story kept me engaged, uh, it kept me wanting, you know, to keep playing the game, and all in all, it was, it, it was a fantastic story, even though there was a few times where, you know, things weren't, you know, lining up correctly, or, you know, it was, it's like, oh, of course she's here, you know, <laughs> like, <clears throat> so... Um, and also, there's one character who kind of flops around the sides, and it's like, okay, how do the enemy not know that she's actually working with the guy? I... But other than that, you know, not too many other um, issues with it. The story for Tomb Raider, um, it's it's a good story. It's it's uh, of course is a reboot of the series, so they retell Laura Croft's journey to become a um, to become who Laura Croft is, a tomb raiding, you know, badass bitch. So. Um, throughout the game, you're you know you start off really basic, not sure, you know, kind of scared, I guess. Um, and the game starts off really nicely with you know this boat crashing, 
um, and you start off, you get tied up and you're above, swing, hanging above a, a, a pit of just skeletons. And you fall and you get stabbed and, you know, throughout the game, it seems like the damage you sustain, you know, affects her, you know, through the cutscenes, I'm not saying like actual like bullet wounds from playing the game, but the cutscene stuff actually stays with you for a long time. It's not like in The Evil Within where, you know, you break your ankle or whatever and you're dragging it around for, you know, the first level, but then after that you're like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so, you know, you, the wounds definitely stay with you until they're actually healed during the game. And the story is, you know, the story's a little bit far-fetched, um, especially for a Tomb Raider game. Uh, if, you know, there's this goddess controlling the weather and you can't leave the island and people have been stuck there for years and they just want to get off the island and finally the the heir is with you apparently to the throne and, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. It, I mean, sure, it works. <laughs> um, but, you know, leading through the story is... It's 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 it gets kind of weird at times, and to I mean to get a true victor out of this one because there's there's things wrong with both stories, but there's also things that do they do really well. I think Uncharted Two starts off the best and you know progresses to the end the best out of both the games. So that's why Uncharted Two gets the point in the story category. Next up is category number three, and category number three is gameplay, how how the game feels, how the game works, and Uncharted 2 um, <laughs> has some faulty gameplay in it, I'd say. Uh, a lot of the climbing can glitch out uh, very often. Um, a lot of the cover options can uh, screw you up, um, and I've noticed a lot <laughs> of enemies who just kind of glitch out as well. Lots of glitches in the game, which is unfortunate. Um, and as for uh, <clears throat> a lot of the, the terrain you go on and the, and, the, and the areas you go to, they're varied and they do look nice at least. Um, and for uh, Tomb Raider, <clears throat> um, Tomb Raider has less of the same issues, I noticed. A lot of the cover options don't, you know, mess you up or glitch you out. Um, the climbing, even though it's not perfect, it does feel a lot better than, say, Uncharted 2. And uh, the areas you go to look very pretty. I especially enjoyed climbing all the way up the antenna. That was a great scene. Um, and as for gameplay, I, I'd say Tomb Raider definitely takes, takes it on this one. Next is category number four, which is puzzles. And these games are big on the puzzles. <clears throat> Uncharted 2 has a lot of annoying puzzles in it, let's be honest. Um, and they range from climbing across the ceiling uh, to just doing the most mundane, demanding puzzles out there. And <clears throat> they're, you know, they're not too bad. I don't mind them. Uh, they're, they're fun to do. Most of them are fun to do. But they do take, you know, a little bit of thinking. And as for Tomb Raider, I cannot remember the puzzles in that game because either they were really, really easy and I just got past them in five seconds, and I, or, I mean, there was one or two that I remember. There was the first one in the game where you have to get the barrels to do something, and then there was the other one later in the game with the giant, like, cylinder in the middle that you had to kind of wiggle around and rotate and try and get the right height and stuff like that. And those are the only two that I kind of remember. And everything else is pretty easy. I Even the tombs that were optional in the game, just they uh, they were really, really easy. And I, f I hope that the next game gets a little bit more challenging. And that's why Uncharted 2 takes the cake for puzzles. Category number 5 is... Weapons. Weaponry. Now, I'm sure it too boasts a very, um, firepower or, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> gun-oriented, uh, a gameplay style. Yes, you can use your fists, but it's all about the guns. You got pist you got two different types of pistols, you got some machine pistols, um, you have a, uh, you know, it's a few different assault rifles you can use, and rocket launcher and grenades, and grenade launcher. It's a very, um, it, it, 
all the weapons kind of meld together. They work together. You know, they it's not like, you know, one or the other is... I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but they all kind of feel different, and they all they all work, you know, in the right area, I should say. And uh, would I take quantity over quality? No. Um, and I must say that the only two guns that I actually even used in Uncharted 2 was, of course, the pistol and the assault rifle. And at times, I guess I would use um, the sniper rifle. Oh, I also used the the the, ba the, the basic shotgun. And everything else, I just kind of left. <laughs> so um, I'm not really forced to use any weapons, which is nice. But I'm also, you know, wishing that there was, um, you know, <laughs> something that gave me a point to use the later weapons because they just didn't seem to be getting better. And of course, they would force you to use them near the end, but I would not like it. As for Tomb Raider's weaponry, you start out <laughs> with nothing, of course, <laughs> um, and you get to uh, use the bow and arrow in the game, which is actually quite nice, handles nicely. You pick up this like ancient bow and arrow, so who knows how it's still working. And then later in the game, you get pistols, you get shotguns, you get an assault rifle. Uh, I think I think that's it. And you can mod them, you can change them around, do different things with them, which is cool. I enjoyed that aspect of the game. <clears throat> and it actually helped with the gameplay as well, and it made me want to use the other weapons um, along with, you know, the, the bow and arrow and stuff like that. So, And also the gadgets in the game. Uh, Uncharted 2 does not have any gadgets, but this game has some gadgets that are really interesting and really fun to use. <clears throat> and they make the game uh, a lot, uh, a lot more varied. So that's why uh, Tomb Raider gets it for the weapons. Tomb Raider. <clears throat> Category number six is um, the open world map or the levels as in Uncharted case. And Uncharted had a few fun levels like I mentioned before. The train level is really great. The cliff level is uh, it was really cool. <clears throat> and uh, there's, a, there's an assault on a town which is also very fun. But then they also have levels like the one where you're just carrying the camera guy around. Or the one where you are just walking through the mountains. <clears throat> There's also the last level where you use a crossbow, a repeating crossbow, to kill ancient foes. There's the really annoying boss fight at the end. And even though the levels look nice, they look great, they feel great, some of them are just so goddamn boring, I you know, don't want to you don't want to play them. <clears throat> Uh, as for Tomb Raider, the open world's nice, it looks nice, it flows, it, it has d dynamic weather and stuff like that. And uh, I thought that the levels were, were interesting, even though some characters didn't really deserve to get canned. They, uh, they just did because they were done being useful. Um, and <clears throat> they didn't really develop the characters that well, and neither did Uncharted 2. I mean, pretty much the one girl you just know as Fuck Buddy, and that's pretty much it during the whole thing. And then you know she's a traitor later, and then, <laughs> that's pretty much it. And then you have, you know, the camera girl who's just like, or the camera guy who's just a guy, <laughs> and that's all the, or the main villain you just know him as, you know, he's a cartel guy, and he, you know, it's at least in Tomb Raider they kind of gave them a little bit more backstory than just you know it's that guy who, you know, killed your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who screwed you over. He's an asshole. Like, I want more than just that. So as for level and map design, I'd say Tomb Raider gets it as well. So where we stand, uh... Uncharted has uh, two points, and Tomb Raider has one, two, three, four. And I guess number seven, it doesn't really matter, but category number seven is overall satisfaction. And overall, I'm satisfied with both games. Yes, I have some gripes about each and one, each you know, both of them, and maybe a little bit more with Uncharted nowadays. But um, I, I definitely enjoyed them both pretty equally. Uh, Tomb Raider, I couldn't play through a second time though. I felt like one time was was good enough for me, and the multiplayer was complete crap. And the same kind of goes for Uncharted too. I played through the game like twice, and I was like, all right, that's enough of that. And then the multiplayer, I. Th I think there was multiplayer. Yeah, there was. It was just so dumb, it was like, why even put it in here? So luckily I've played Uncharted 4's beta, and, you know, it's better. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, at least uh, it, it's going to be a little bit of a different experience for multiplayer. Hey, you know, we, we, know, we don't know until it comes out, so I shouldn't really assume anything or 
<laughs> anything like that. Uh, so, uh, Tomb Raider wins. Um, if you think I'm wrong, you can always comment down below like other people have. Um, and that that's about it. Uh, let me just plug the channel real quickly. This is the Rant channel. Um, I do it with... Um, Actually, I, I work on it with my other uh, with my friend Robert. Uh, he does five minute reviews also on the channel, which are great. They're short. They're sweet. You got a lot of information in a short amount of time. Of course, I do the verses, which I am Josh. I do the verses series on here, uh, which I pit two games against each other like so. Then we also have our main podcast, which is simply called the Rant. We talk about comics, video games, you know, characters, you know, stuff like that annoying people <laughs> then I'll if you enjoy listening to me talk you can go to you can head over to my channel which is called Jarsh's Opinion I have my own podcast there I also do three video game reviews a week sometimes I do DLC sometimes I do actual games um, I also have what's my channel famous for I guess is the YouTube haikus um, and then I also have a uh, plenty of other things on there to keep you occupied I also have a new series uh, that's coming out actually probably on the day that this video is released. Um, it's one that I put together myself and uh, animated by my lovely fiance. <clears throat> so, that's about wraps it up. If you like the video, give it a like. If you like the channel, give it a subscribe. If you don't like this video, you can give it a dislike. And I will compare you to Jim Carrey's career. <laughs>